from the KGO TV Broadcast Center. This is ABC 7 News. Now at 11, this man you see here is now dead after a first of its kind car accident. His Tesla was on autopilot when it slammed into a tractor trailer. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Ama Dates. And I'm Larry Veal in for Dan Ashley tonight. Federal authorities are launching an investigation as the crash raises questions about the safety of those self-driving cars. ABC 7 News reporter Cornell Bernard is live in Berkeley. Cornell. On the self-driving cars, slowly becoming the new reality out here on the road, but one man's death raising new questions about the technology. This was Joshua Brown driving his Tesla that he nicknamed Tessie. He's the first known U.S. fatality while using self-driving technology. Tesla's own CEO, Elon Musk, tweeted his condolences to the Tesla Model S owner. The Palo Alto-based company calls Brown to Tesla. He was known for posting videos of his car driving on autopilot, like this one, where it narrowly avoided crashing into another car. In the fatal crash, a tractor trailer turned in front of him, and the autopilot failed to stop the car. Tesla acknowledges the accident on its website, saying neither autopilot nor the driver noticed the white side of the tractor trailer against the brightly lit sky, so the brake was not applied. No technology is, is foolproof. Professor Roberto Horowitz heads UC Berkeley's mechanical engineering department where self-driving technology is being researched and tested. He says it still needs improving and at this point it can't be your chauffeur. I think most people should view this as, as, a, as an add on safety but not as a substitute for the driver. But many have been spotted leaving the driving to their Tesla, like this guy who appears to be sleeping in traffic. The nonprofit group Consumer Watchdog has concerns about self-driving cars. It says, we hope this is a wake-up call to federal regulators that we still don't know enough about the safety of self-driving cars to be rushing them to the road. In Berkeley, Cornell Bernard, ABC 7 News.